always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm-hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Pharipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he penned in the Emperor's library. Pharipsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his gin. Are you sure this mage actually had a gin? His books strongly suggest he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Storm wouldn't pose a threat if he'd had a djinn. He could just utter a wish. Perhaps he had none left, or something unexpected happened. Why are you even interested? Djinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a djinn, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. All right, so what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this gin. I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine, I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. I will consider Sadler and Care told that permanent cursed wedge now. So you've managed to prepare everything already? I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. What was that? A hex? What you hexed me? Go and defile the Garden of Freya. A hollow place. Nothing here for you. Hey. Bang, bang. Hey there. Hmm? Come and treat the up dirty oof. Oh, I see. We joined Hawker on some way. A Nordling? Ow! Oh. Oh. Nothing here for you. We have scared them, man. Us, they ravaged. We'd have fought them off. Everyone knows Warwick's got better. Mean to make your daughter. He's in charge. How can I be? Show me what you have. This is Skellige! You've no respect for our customs. Not ye, nor that witch, Yenna.
The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. How long must I wait? Are you ready to sail? Not sure this gin thing is a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. And the lion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> How lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life? Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always, not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't like to see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Esad I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. It's clearing up. How's your bath? Water warm enough for you? Jump in, see for yourself. Seawater wreaks havoc on my complexion. Just find the wreck. Is long. He led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. How's it going? Yeah, and you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? See anything interesting? A shipwreck in the cavern. Don't look inside.
to masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners, probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew, then made their nest here. There's also a Clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. Now. Wherever the leads take us. Say we find the gym. What do we do? Ask for a beautiful house? And a palace? And a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gym? Or have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in deep. Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's the Major's ship. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Haymai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Haymai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. What do you have? A war horn, bearing Clan Haymai symbols. Long ship belonged to Clan Dimon. Yen, doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken long ships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. Got a chest, really old. Must have fell off the wrecked long ship. Can you open it? Hoping for pirate treasure. I hope to find the gin. Try to open it.
Now that's what I call a war booty. Have you found the gin? No, but I found something that could be just as valuable to me as the gin is to you. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the Golden Dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember, though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. We'll see what it is. Silver. Bruin crusted cutlery. Ship belonged to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. It could very well be his ship. See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I should cast another spell, to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichte Ilivaid. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my- I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichte Ilivaid. Exactly in half.
Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon can do this, but whatever cut the basket probably could. Exactly in half. Bet it was cut by the same thing that cut the skeleton. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Ah, oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this djinn? But you already know. A djinn's power is priceless to a mage. Won't warm your way out of it. Not this time. Tell me the truth or I'll leave. You needn't resort to blackmail. You would have learned eventually. True, but after the fact. I want to know now. How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it? This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another. Or if we'll be like two strangers. What if I don't want to know? I'm afraid you no longer have a choice. Come, let's search the ship. was quite the eccentric, asking the djinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Djinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. 
In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. We should explore the ship. Interesting. Mystery of mysteries, Agnes of Glanville. this means. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Mage must have slept here. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. this means. Nothing here. Elemental Empires by Gian Battista.
Nothing interesting here. We should explore the ship. this means. Yen, I think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop even. And the Jinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck. I've an idea. Preserved the corpse. Hmm. Died from head trauma. Bookcase cracked his skull. Must have been a hard landing atop this mountain. A bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame djinn. Rip kaishta en gaya. Kaishta et disglair. Gedvered me castle. Feel his 
strength waning. Got you! Your master died before uttering his last wish. I cannot capture you. We can struggle like this for eternity or I can release you. If you do one thing for me... Do you see the spell that binds us? Only a djinn can remove another djinn's spell. Remove this one and you'll be free. Storm's over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. We've improved. Last time we tamed a djinn, we destroyed half of Rhind. Yes, we make a good team. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Not sure I'd have done it if I'd known what this was about from the start. Then we'd never have learned the truth. Whether anything would change after the djinn removed the spell. Has it? Has anything changed? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Jin might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. And I love you. Was that? It can't be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. <sighs> My, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Think the spirits of Skellige favor us.
next time we go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. We must report to the Emperor after all. Ceres our concern, and only ours. At heart, perhaps. But it's not what we agreed with Emir. We must see him. Awfully loyal to your patron. He happens to be your patron as well, darling. You'd do well to remember that. Otherwise he might feel compelled to remind you. ruin it by hashing out the details. I'm going to see the Baron. Collect Uma from him, then we'll ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as quickly as I can. See you again. Take care of yourself. Geralt? Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. When the hunt had you, hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. All shrouded in fog. Though I do remember you coming for me, trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. What did Aridin want from you, exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with them. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Aridin believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened, and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did. And if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Why didn't you look for me, after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury.
Still can't get something out of my mind. What? So, feel any different after our encounter with the Jinn? Yes. Now I feel... regret. Mean to say that... That I regret we didn't try that earlier. Much earlier. Think we would have argued less? Quite the opposite. But the other moments would have been more intense as well. Moments like this. Yen, can we talk? Why? So you can ask me if we can remain friends despite all? No, I... I mean... Come now, Geralt. I know you. Well enough to know exactly what's going on with you and Triss. Now, I cannot say I'm not tempted to, hmm, intervene, but I believe I'll let it lie this time. How about that? You came here to fumble your way through an explanation, yet instead of enjoying the show, I went and did your job for you. Seems so. But now, enough of this maudlin business. We've something to do, remember? Thanks, Yen. See you later. <laughs>